Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hello, everyone. This is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening Birmingham. Today, I have the honor and pleasure of having Mr. Alec Kunzman with the Magic City Art Connection here to talk about the Magic City Art Connection 2021 and also the great event they're having, which is the 20th Cork and Chefs uh, Taste of Birmingham. And all this is going on April 24th and 25th. Alex, thank you for coming on the podcast today. Hey, thank you for having us. Great, yeah. great. Tell us about these great events you guys got coming up. So Magic City Art Connection, we're turning 38, 38 this year. My mother actually founded the event that long ago. I was about 10 years old <laughs> and a volunteer at that point. Now I work with my mom's company and uh, we've been, you know, continuing on this art legacy and spring tradition in Birmingham that last full weekend in April. And um, it's, you know, grown from 75 art artists in the early days to we're going to have about 150 artists that are juried into the show from uh, Birmingham, Alabama, the Southeast, and even, you know, around the country. We have some coming as far away as um, New York or Ohio. Um, so you'll really get to see, you know, a great selection of really talented artists who will be exhibiting at the festival. And it's always just a really fun event that uh, Birmingham looks forward to each spring. And, uh, but the artists are really the heart of the festival and every price points represented, every uh, medium from clay to painting, to sculpture, to printmaking. Um, you can really find um, lots of wonderful work from all these uh, talented artists. And uh, we also do, um, as you mentioned, the tasting event. Magic City Art Connection will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Sloss, which is our venue for 2021. Uh, we're usually downtown in Lim Park, but this year uh, we've moved the festival to Sloss um, because it has allowed us to put in place some of our COVID protocols. We're spacing um, exhibitor booths further apart widening our, our traffic patterns for visitors to explore all the great artists. Uh, we're going to have hand sanitizing stations throughout the site. Um, and uh, it, it's sort of more of a linear site, which helped us out in that respect, because you can really get turned around in Lim Park, and it's a little harder to direct um, traffic. And so Sloss is going to be, I think, a great uh, backdrop for us this year uh, and we're looking real forward to um, sort of uh, unveiling all the sights, sounds, tastes, and aromas that people come to expect at Magic City Art Connection. So we're, we're excited. It's uh, Corks and Chefs will be the tasting event, which is only Saturday and Sunday. And uh, we're moving to two sessions this year for it. So 11.30 to one will be the first session and then we'll uh, clear out that group and then sort of flip the venue and then bring in the next group for the 1.30 to 3 p.m. slot. Um, and we're featuring uh, about three to four restaurants um, from around Birmingham, like uh, Continental Bakery is gonna be there. Um, we have Soli Luna, uh, we have um, Arrington at Purcell Farms, which is in Sylacauga. Um, uh, we also have El Barrio um, that's going to be uh, with us this year. And um, if you go to our website, corksandchefs.com, you'll see a full lineup of, of who's participating this year. But we'll also have breweries and a uh, wine table and a couple uh, cocktail bars and uh, this year we're going to have reserved tables as well. So when people come in, they'll get a number for either a bar table, stand up table or a seated table that will be their uh, table for the duration of the tasting event, uh, which will keep us from having to go around and clean behind people because 
you know, typically we would have a, a 300 foot tent that was full of people um, just roaming around tasting um, stuff. But we sort of cinched that in for this year so that we could accommodate more tables for people to um, taste all the wonderful offerings at. So uh, there will be, you know, a few little changes, but it's going to be a really um, flavorful event. Um, it's always a fun experience. The Atomic Lounge is going to be there this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Paper, Paper Doll is the other cocktail bar. And then we have um, Trim Tab and uh, Ghost Train. And um, Alabev is coming there with a bunch of different beers. They're a distributor, so they're going to be serving good people in Avondale and Abita and um, a bunch of other beers. So it's a really kind of a, a flavor explosion at Corks and Chefs. And this is our 24th year for the event. We were one of the first um, tasting event of that kind to hit the scene in Birmingham. So as the taste landscape in Birmingham has changed, we've grown with it and it's been wonderful spotlighting all these great talented tastemakers in our city. So people can check out all the information online for Corks and Chefs and get your advanced tickets uh, through uh, this coming Friday. So through the 22nd. And then there might be some available at the door, but we're only letting 150 people in each session at Corks and Chefs. So mm -hmm. um, we do recommend getting your tickets in advance. What I can see as well, like I like how you guys, even though COVID's come, but it's almost like you all have made the event even better. You know, <laughs> well, you, you know of course safer, but you made it even better because the location change and different things like that. Well, we try. We um, also do Moss Rock Festival, which is out um, in Hoover in November. So we sort of got our feet wet this past November doing a public festival. And we actually combined the two festivals because we had to cancel Magic City, our connection last year. So we called it Moss Magic for Moss Rock Festival mm -hmm. and Magic City, our connection. Oh, and some of those artists came over and exhibited um, with us in the fall that we're supposed to be exhibiting in the spring. So, um, yeah, we were, were feeling really good about the protocols that we put in place to keep everyone safe. And um, this year we have some uh, really um, wonderful things planned from our kids' workshops, um, <laughs> which is the, our, our kids' area is called Imagination Festival. And typically we have bussed in about 1,200 elementary school, third and fourth graders to the mm -hmm. festival on Friday. We're not able to do that this year, but we will have um, a series of workshops for families um, to attend with their kids. And they'll all be socially distanced. Um, and, uh, you know, that will be happening from, I think the full time, the full hours of the festival, maybe they'll close down an hour before the festival closes. Mm -hmm. um, but they, uh, there's, the kids, I forget what one of the names of the workshops is. It's, um, it was something about doing your own cave drawings. So trying to create a, like a cave space by having kids come and do their own cave drawings of, of stout, um, whatever those rocks are, and staglomites, I forget what they're called. <laughs> um, but really creative workshops led by real artists and, um, those will be going Saturday and Sunday this year instead of uh, the Friday where since we're not doing that, it's just going to be Saturday and Sunday. So we really tell people to bring out the kids, let them um, have a blast. They'll get totally entranced by these uh, creative experiences um, and interactive art workshops. Um, but we do also have some special features. We've been doing a special exhibition every year. And um, this year, it's called Within Reach Celebrated uh, Black Alabama Artists. So we're um, curating an exhibition of um, Black Alabama artists to, uh, um, they're each going to have, you know, at least one work. Uh, some artists might have a couple, 
Um, and I'll give you some examples of who's exhibiting, who, who will be exhibiting there. I don't know if you know, uh, Chris, Christopher Davis, he was our uh, featured artist in 2013 and emerging artist. And mm -hmm. he's also a local comic. Um, he has a, uh, he started a group called Fresh Ground Comics and he does a show on uh, Birmingham Mountain Radio now called Walking Around with Chris. Um, so he's sort of a renaissance man. Like he, do, he does a lot of everything. Um, but he's one of our featured artists um, in that exhibition. Also, uh, Roscoe Hall, who is um, right now one of the cast for uh, Top Chef on Bravo. They're in Portland this year. And so okay. he's, he's representing Birmingham and he's part of the Portland cast. And another another renaissance man he he's an artist he graduated from um, uh, savannah college of art and design he's from chicago but he's the grandson of the founder of dreamland barbecue so he has i think that barbecue in his blood he's been involved with rodney scott's barbecue here in town as well as consulting with other restaurants in town so he's both an artist and a chef and Anyway, so he's going to be uh, represented in this uh, special exhibition as well. There will be about 15 artists um, that will be showing in that exhibition. So we're excited about that. It's one of our, um, one of our special features that we do every year. Um, our featured artist this year is a Black artist. Um, his name is Garland Farwell, mm -hmm. and he lives in York, Alabama, which is a very small town in Alabama. And he came to um, Alabama via LA and New York. He was in New York working on a lot of like theater stuff, like doing theater displays and puppets. And he's worked with the Jim Henson Foundation, but he was really intrigued by a local art center that was in York, Alabama called um, Coleman Center for the Arts. Mm -hmm. and uh, got a residency. And so he, he was supposed to be down there on this residency for, I think maybe eight weeks, but he's now been there for seven years. He, he just felt like he had found the place he was supposed to be. And his residency was actually on um, Mose Tolliver, uh, who's a pretty well-known outsider folk artist here in Alabama, Moe's T for short. So his residency was about Moe's T and he worked with all these different schools and classrooms and created these huge puppets inspired by Moe's T, T's art. Um, so we're excited to feature his work. He, he does these really great um, quilt block pieces where he's taking and recycling wood mm -hmm. into um, these works of art where he's creating all these sort of geometric designs and shapes from different pieces of wood. And he does these really great um, hex signs, which um, are hexagon shaped and um, very sort of geometric and um, very graphic. Um, in their nature and then he sort of distresses the surface of them so his work really fits in with our, our venue this year of Sloss you know Sloss is sort of rustic and it's sort of peeling in places and but still colorful and vibrant and I don't know I think his work has a lot of synergy to this new location we'll be at this year. Okay so where do they go if they want to get tickets and for more information? So they can go to our website, magiccityart.com. And uh, one of the main menu headings is um, tickets. And just click on that and they'll be able to see um, a link to both getting a festival ticket and a Corks and Chefs ticket. Um, festival tickets in advance are $10. Mm -hmm. And they'll be 12 at the gate. And Corks mm -hmm. and Chefs tickets, um, because we're... Um, sort of a, a, a tighter model this year. Um, mm -hmm. Our tickets are $30 in advance. They'll be 35 at the door. Um, and yeah, you can go to 
ma magiccityart.com, you'll be able to find the Courts and Chess tickets or go to courtsandchess.com. It'll kind of take you to the same page. Okay. Well, Alex, thanks for coming on today. Um, you all, please check this event out. You know, it's springtime. I know a lot of everybody's been having cabin fever and been stuck in locked in for almost a year. Come out for well, a great event that you can look at some great art by some of our great local artists and also taste some of the great food. So, and, and some of, definitely some of the great breweries we got here in town as well. And we'll so, have... We'll have food trucks too there. So we have okay. a, caf a cafe. So you will be, if you don't want to do courts and chefs, you can also go to our cafe. We have Simone's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have Steel City Pops coming out, um, Taco Moro Loco, and okay. um, uh, Porky's Pride. So barbecue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so lots of food, lots of art. Lots of entertainment. We have a stage also where we'll have dance and um, music live performances um, under the main shed at Sloss. So those will be scheduled throughout the day, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we'll have social distance seating under that covered area. Um, but yeah, lots of great entertainment. Um, you'll, you'll spend the whole day there. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, Alice, thank you. For coming on. Thank you all for watching this video. Please check out what's happening Birmingham.com for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all again. And have a great day, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.